Rangers have two. Brian to shot. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kepper. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. And your fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to rank my top five NBA duels of all time. So the best tandem that we've ever seen in NBA history. But before we dive into today's episode, I want to ask you guys for two favors. First, subscribe to the channel and like the video if you enjoy the content. Oh gosh, free favors. And you got to watch the video to the end because I got a special guest at the end of the video. All right, enough said, let's get right into it. So what exactly are the criteria that I used in order to put up this list? Well, first of all, naturally, how dominant the two of them were, then how long did they play together, how successful were they, and that's how I basically came up with this list. So let's start with number five. So coming in at number five are Karl Malone and John Stockton. Karl Malone and John Stockton spent 18 seasons together, putting up historic numbers for the Utah Jazz along the way. Malone and Stockton went 900 and 506 in the regular season and won another 85 playoff games. They had 477.5 combined playoff and regular season win shares. Malone led the NBA in total points, scoring over 6,000 more than Michael Jordan. In their time as pick and roll partners, Malone averaged 25.4 points and 10.2 rebounds per game, while Stockton averaged 13.5 points and 10.8 assists. Only Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls kept them from getting to the top. And yes, if they would have won a few championships, they easily could have ranked higher on this Two list. Men really have ESP on the basketball floor. I don't think any other two players on the same team have connected like these guys have. And not only do they share an enduring bond, but also a common philosophy. I look at us every night as warriors, and we're going out to fight a battle. There's no doubt in my mind what he's thinking. And I don't think it's any doubt in his mind what I'm thinking we'll get on that court, and that's to win. No good. Rebound. Stockton. I held the curve out. He's got it. Stockton to the ball. He scores. Incredible. And coming in at number four are Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Now, for the past eight years, there was no duel as dominant as Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. And yes, today's NBA is not as competitive as it used to be, but we have to give credit where credit is due. Both players are sensational talents and they got the championships to prove it. If Klay and Steph are healthy, the Warriors are always competing for a championship. And I'm pretty sure that they will win at least another one before they both will retire. Another thing that I like about them is that they both have their egos checked and you could always see and you can always yes. see that they are really a Leonard's team. Been dominant, but he's had some good help as Clay Thompson throws in another. So number two and number three was probably the most difficult decision that I had to make for this video, but hey, hear me out. So coming in at number three are Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Ten seasons, five championships, three MVPs and 19 All-Star appearances. That's all Magic Johnson and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar did with the Los Angeles Lakers. Johnson was the architect of the Showtime Lakers and Abdul-Jabbar was the veteran center with a dominant post move. They went 506, 179 in the regular season and 110, 47 in the playoffs together. While owning the 80s, Johnson averaged 20 points, 11 assists and 7 rebounds while Abdul-Jabbar run up with 20 points and 7 rebounds per game. They kept Burke and McHale from winning more titles and were the ideal one-two punch of the 1980s. I love both players, I love Magic, I love Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, but I think that my number two pick was even better. Slightly, but better. 
Coming in at number two are Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant, arguably the best guard center combo of all time. Those two were simply too much for the league. Each player was unstoppable and so good that most teams would give up before the game even started. With Shaq, we already know that some bigs called in sick since they didn't want to play against Shaq. And Kobe, well, having this killer playing against you, I mean, what could you do? They won three titles together and we know they could have won more if they stayed together. But for eight years, they terrorized the NBA and deserve to be my number two pick. And coming in at number one, and yes, this should not be a surprise to you, are Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen. Led by the greatest player of all time, the Chicago Bulls won six championships during the 1990s. But Michael Jordan didn't do it without Scottie Pippen. The two of them were perfect for each other and could destroy you on offense and on defense. During their run together, Jordan and Pippen ranked first and second in playoff win shares. Jordan averaged 31.5 points per game, 6.4 rebounds and 5.6 assists. Pippen on the other hand put up 17 points, 6.4 rebounds and 5.3 assists. They had the NBA's best winning percentage during that time and led the Bulls to a then record of 72 wins in 1996. They are, without any doubt, the best duo in NBA history. So now that we talked about some of the greatest duels in NBA history, I want to talk with a man who's not only an expert in old school NBA, but a man who also has his very own basketball league. You all know him, Ice Cube. How you doing, man? What's happening with you? How you feeling? Good, 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 good. Now, as I mentioned before, you are not only an old school NBA fan, but you are a true Los Angeles Lakers fan. So I have, before we talk about the Big Three League, I have one specific question for you. How, mm -hmm. for you as a Los Angeles Lakers fan, how great was the Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal era, in your opinion? Well, I think it was uh, very dominant. You know, I I grew up in the, you know, watching the Showtime era. And, you know, the teams were, you know, pretty much evenly matched. You know, you would go into every finals not knowing if the Lakers could pull it off because the other teams were so uh, formidable, formidable. So, you know, with the the Kobe Bryant Shaq Lakers, they was just so dominant. Yeah. You kind of knew that they couldn't be beat when they were just playing together, playing the right way. Um, especially with uh with Phil Jackson coaching. Yeah. When I did my ranking of the greatest duels in NBA history, I had a very hard time to think which duel was better, Kareem and Magic or Kobe and, and Shaq. And I came to the, to the conclusion that I ranked Kobe and Shaq a little bit higher because they, in my opinion, were a little bit more unstoppable. But since you were such a Showtime fan, would you agree with me or do you rank Kareem and Magic higher? I agree with you. Um, you know, it was just pure dominance. Um, the you know magic and and and, um, and kareem won uh but they didn't three peat uh, so you know the dominance was clear uh and unquestionable and if they would have stayed together yeah. you know they they might they may have had nine rings you just never know You never know. Very, very true. Now, talking about your Big Three League, um, the season just started again. It's the fifth season, which is incredible. Uh, what can people expect that have never seen the Big Three League before? And what can people expect that know the Big Three League? And, and yeah, what can we in general expect this year? Um, a better game, you know, better athletes. Each team is stacked. Uh, you don't know who's going to win the championship this year. You know, we got, of course, two-time MVP, uh, Joe Johnson. But now Michael Beasley is coming on. Uh, he looks good. Uh, Glenn Rice Jr. looks good. So, you know, you never know who's going to win it. So I just think the the games are going to be, you know, uh, close and uh, very Very competitive 
you know, the league has has grown. If you've never seen professional uh, three on three, you know, I think you uh, you missing some. It, it's just uh, an amazing game played by some of the most skilled in basketball IQ high players that we have. Um, and so to me, it's just um, a great addition to the sports landscape. Now, the one question that, and I don't know if it actually fits in here, but but I still want to ask it. Um, from a business standpoint, I mean, I remember when, when I heard that you were founding your own league and the concept and everything, I was super excited. I thought, okay, this is something that I've been waiting for for so many years. But obviously, this is also a very big project, which is not easy to pull off. And, and yes, you are in your fifth season, but I can imagine it's not easy to keep it going. So I would like to know what can we as fans do so that we can guarantee that we will have the big three for every single year, if that makes sense. Oh, man, you know, good question. I mean, don't take it for granted. That's the thing. You know, don't take the league for granted. We need your support. We need you to, you know, tell tell people about the league. Um, that's the only way we'll continue to, to be here year after year is if our, if our fan base grows. So, um, you know, we need everybody to say, hey, we want the big three around every year, um, and we need – We need everybody that loved the league to support the league. You know, I know, um, you know, the league has been here five years. We rolling, but just don't take it for granted. Absolutely. Now, one one more question before I let you go. Um, now, my audience is old school NBA hardcore fans. And uh, for you that haven't seen the big three, there are many legends involved in the big three. We have Gary Payton, we have George Gervin, we have Dr. J and those guys. So I would like to know from you, Cube, how difficult was it to convince those legends to be part of your league? Because this is some, something that, um, I mean, those names speak for themselves. Not very difficult. To me, you know, if you have vision and you can see what this league, you know, has become and can continue to, to, to be, um, you see the picture, you see the, the vision. Um, and it's, it's still, you know, uh, basketball played at the highest level, you know, by the most skilled players, you know, when it comes to the big three style of playing. So, you know, these are people who understand, um, you know, what it takes to grow a league like this. They're, they're totally committed. You know, it's a family environment. Uh, they own a piece of the big three. And so, you know, it's really uh, them seeing the vision and uh, wanting to see the vision grow. And they, uh, I'm grateful that they, you know, they've been riding with me uh, for five years, some um, six. Uh, so it's just been a blessing. That's what we needed. You know, we wouldn't have got to year five if we didn't have some of the greatest names who ever played the game involved in this league. Yeah, yeah. So for all your basketball and three-on-three -three fans around the world, you got to check out the Big Three League. Uh, check out www.big3.com. Um, follow Ice Cube on his Instagram channel so you're always up to date. Support the league. I can really recommend it to everybody who loves basketball, who loves three-on-three -three, uh, basketball. Cube, it was great having you on the show. I really appreciate it. And much success for the future and a very exciting and entertaining fifth season, my friend. I appreciate that. And uh, for everybody that want to check out the big three around the world, you can check us out on the zone. You can check us out on Vire TV or go to the big three YouTube channel. You can check out the games there live. So uh, appreciate it. Salutes. Uh, and uh, thanks for uh, covering the league.